What is up guys, welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another video. Today we will finally be transforming the front end of my car. I won't be looking stock anymore. We will be adding some more uh, aggressive parts to it to make it look, you know, just a little better. Cause right now the stock, uh, I'm not really digging the stock look, you know. I got some parts that came in uh, yesterday. So without further ado, uh, let's just get right into it. also a sprinkling outside today hopefully it says it's supposed to get sunny later on but uh, I'm gonna be filming inside more of this video I'm gonna go ahead and try to be really quick and take off this front bumper because we're gonna have to repaint that and then we're gonna be adding some little accents to it to make it look way more aggressive and a lot better so uh, let's go ahead and do that all right so we got the package right here from icon motorsports let's go ahead and unbox this real quick and I'll show you guys what I got So I got this aggressive M style front lip. Um, pretty uh, affordable. It's not. It wasn't too bad. I'll put the link down in the description if you guys want to get it. I uh, really recommend it. And I also got it just because it comes with OEM holes for where your uh, bumper screws in. So that's really nice. You don't have to drill any holes or anything. And yeah, I think it's gonna look really good. It's gonna flow with the car. And I heard the fitment on these are really good. So. Obviously, I'm going to have to uh, sand it down, prime it, and then we'll uh, paint it the same color as the car. But we'll do all that once we uh, repaint the whole bumper as well. So let's go ahead and uh, go take the bumper off and uh, start sanding after that. All right, guys, we finally got the bumper off. Now all we got to do is uh, take off all the little brackets, the little grills, and then uh, the fog lights. And then it should be uh, ready for sanding. So let's go ahead and do that real quick. I just went ahead and uh, skipped the whole process of taking the bumper off because I'm sure uh, all well, you guys know how to do that. If you don't, there's a there's a bunch of DIYs on YouTube, so go check one of those out. Finally got all the little brackets off and grills. These right here, the little grills they have, the plastic pieces, I'll show you. These ones right here, those things are a freaking pain to get up. The clips are like so hard to pull out and they're so stiff. But yeah, I think that was the hardest part. Everything else went pretty smooth, the fog lights. Those came out really easy. Now I'm just gonna go ahead and take this off and never put it on again. I don't know why they drill a hole in the bumper to put a plate in, but I got a, I got a plan for the whole front license plate. You guys probably saw my E90. I'm gonna do the same thing on this one. So I'm gonna take this off and then we'll start uh, wet sanding this whole bumper.
All right, guys. So now I'm gonna go ahead and uh, scan. Uh, scan sick. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, sand this. I'm gonna use a Scotch pad. So the reason I'm gonna use this is because this is just a uh, bare plastic. There's no primer or anything. And uh, if you use uh, sandpaper, it's gonna leave little scratches, and you're gonna be able to see that. So this is a perfect material to uh, sand it down enough to where it's not scratches, but also enough to where the primer sticks on there. So. Let's go ahead and sand this down with the scotch pad, and then we'll go and apply a primer. Got it all sanded down. Now I'm gonna just wash it, wash it really good. Use a tack cloth, get all the dust off of it, and then we'll uh, put some primer. I think I'm just gonna put one coat, see how that lays on there. If not, if I still need a little more, I'll probably put two. But yeah, we'll uh, we'll see how it goes. All right guys, so I just applied the first coat of primer. It's laying on here really nice and smooth actually. Um, I'm using self-etching primer. This is the best for this material, some plastic material. I've used this on other plastic pieces on my E90 and it's worked really good. I've never had problems. It sticks on here really good, it dries really fast. And that's, that's why it's called self-etching primer. The adhesive on this is really strong, so. And I literally just sprayed it like 30 seconds ago and it literally already looks dry. But yeah, I'm gonna give it uh, about five more minutes, spray the second coat and that should be good. It's been about five minutes. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, spray the second coat. And I, I was reading on the can while I was uh, waiting for it to dry that they usually, it says to spray three to four coats. So I'm probably gonna go ahead and just do three and we'll see how that turns out. So let's go ahead and uh, put on the second coat. All right, that is the last coat. I put three coats on here. Now I'm gonna wait. This has to wait 15 minutes before a wet sanding. So I'm gonna go ahead and do 20 just to make sure. And yeah, it is like 70 degrees outside, so this should dry really quick. So uh, catch you guys back in uh, 20 minutes. I went ahead and uh, finished wet sanding this bumper while the lip uh, dries from the primer. A good way to know when you're uh, done wet sanding or how you can tell if you're done is make sure it has a matte finish. So see on my car how it's like glossy, whatever. When you, uh, after you sand it and it has a matte finish, that's when you know you're good and ready for paint. So as you can tell, no more shine. I think I'm gonna run just a little more right here. As you can see, it's still a little bit glossy and hazy. But yeah, other than that, it's looking really good. Right now I'm just giving it a really good wipe down and trying to clean it every little corner and then uh, hit it with the tack cloth. Obviously after we dry it and we'll be uh, ready for paint. Alright guys, we got the base coat on. I put four coats on each panel. And the reason I didn't, uh, the reason this part looks like this is because I really don't care about it. It's all getting covered up by this lip. I focus on the main part of the bumper. It turned out really good. Now, uh, here's the lip. Now it's time to add uh, some gloss, so, uh, I'm gonna add about three, four coats of clear coat. I'll see how it lays on there. 
Alright guys, so while I'm waiting for the clear coat to dry, I'm going to go ahead and paint these uh, air duct grills, kidney grills, not kidney grills, I don't even know what you want to call them. Well, I'm going to go ahead and paint these gloss black. I don't know why they weren't black to begin with. But Uh, today we will be installing a V brace just like you guys saw the title of the video. I will be installing the V brace on the E92 just like I did on the E90. I just wanted to do it in the same day because now that I have the bumper off I can actually do this and it'd be pointless to put the bumper on and then take it back off to do this whole DIY. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do it right now. So on my E90, I actually used some uh, metal pipes. Uh, I'm gonna try something new I bought from Lowe's, a uh, PVC pipe. Now I've actually seen this work. Somebody else, a couple actually other people I've seen done on uh, the forums. But yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and try this. I'm gonna get the measurements, cut it out perfect, and then we'll paint it yellow. Cause that's what act. That's the color of the accents I want to have on my car, just like on my E90, and I think it'll look really good. So let's go ahead and uh, measure this out, cut it, and then uh, we'll paint it. All right, guys, so I don't know if you guys can see right in there. Right in there. Really hard to see. Okay, right there. Uh, that's plastic. So that's where you will be drilling a hole. Be careful, put something behind you so you don't drill it straight into the radiator. And we'll do the same on the other side. And then on the bottom here, if you guys can see right there, there's already a hole pre-cut. And it's like that on both sides, which is pretty cool. I don't know why they're there, but we're gonna use that hole. So pretty much just need to drill one hole and then uh, drill a hole in the pipe, and then you can install it. So let's go ahead and uh, get the measurements. Cut, drilled, everything to the right measurements. Got them hanging up here. I sanded them as well. And now we're gonna go ahead and uh, spray it. I have this paint and primer all in one gloss sun yellow so uh, let's see how this turns out all right guys it's been a couple hours uh these dried up really good actually so i went ahead and cut half of the pipe right here this far down i did the same on this end so you're only gonna be able to see like this front side. You won't even be able to tell that it's cut. So the reason I did that was so it can fit behind this. Cause if you don't cut them, the pipe isn't gonna fit. So that's what you gotta do. And now we're gonna drill some holes right there. Like I said earlier, and then there's already a hole right here made. So we're gonna put a zip tie through that. I'm gonna use zip ties cause they work really well. And they're the easiest to get through the holes and they're easy to work with. So we're gonna use zip ties. I've had them on my E90 for almost a year, no problems, nothing. They're still on there really tight, so. Let's go ahead and uh, drill out this hole. And like I said before, you gotta be careful. I'd say put something like a little piece of metal behind this so you don't drill right through and into the radiator. Cause that'll be a bad day. So uh, be careful when you're drilling out right here, this little plastic. So as you guys can see here, made the hole right there. So now I'm gonna go ahead and feed this. this. Line it up to the hole down here, and the hole right here. And it lines up perfect, so 
put a zip tie through there. And then one through right there. That's how you do it. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that real quick and then we'll drill out the other side. And also I forgot, you have to make a hole through the side right here just so you could fit feed the other end of the zip tie through there and tie it so it's pretty easy just this is all plastic so it goes through really really easy and then feed it through this hole down here so let's go ahead and do that real quick all right guys there you have it we got the left side done I went ahead and uh, cut right here just a little bit off the plastic so it fits nicely in there uh, it depends on also how thick your uh, pipe is mine's half inch I believe yeah well, half inch but yeah, it fits really good, as you guys can tell. It's really strong in here. Literally the whole car is moving from me shaking this. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, do the right side. I'll just do a time lapse, since I already showed you guys how to do the basics. So uh, let's go ahead and do that side and we'll see what it looks like. All right guys, so my uh, camera ended up dying on me. So I didn't get to film the other side, uh, time lapse. But yeah, I got everything installed. Here it is, it's looking really good. Now I'm going to go ahead and uh, start putting everything back together onto the bumper, all the little grills, fog lights, and then I'll install the bumper and I'll show you guys the final product. Alright guys, I got the fog lights on here, the little air duct grills, and now I'm going to put the Kenny grills on last when it's on the car. So now I'm going to go ahead and install this on the car and then uh, we'll finish up the rest. Alright guys, I got the bumper on, everything fit nice and perfect, the V-brace is looking sick. Now I'm just going to go ahead and install this lip and I'll uh, show you guys what it looks like after. It is a little bit later into the day. I got everything nicely and secured. I took the time to make sure everything's on there, you know, nice and firm. The fitment's perfect. So uh, now I'm about to show you guys the final product. All right, so here she is. So the lip fitment was actually pretty good. Right here, I need to adjust it a little bit, just push it in, but that's very minor, I'm not even worried about that. The fitment here is really good. Can't even tell that it sticks out. I mean, it doesn't even stick out. I got it way in there, because I know some people have had problems with that, but that V-brace looking super mean. Next video, I'm gonna end up blacking everything else out so there's not a bunch of color. So I'm gonna black out this album emblem right here. It's gonna be black and white instead of blue. I'm gonna tint these little cornering lights. Uh, what else? I'm gonna uh, black out the badge and obviously all the other emblems. But yeah, it's gonna look amazing. Can't wait. And then after that, obviously, we're gonna give it a full tint. Just murder it out. Uh, black out the roof soon, too. But yeah, guys, that's about it. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. Uh, let me know your guys' thoughts on everything I did. Give it a like if you guys like it. Uh, subscribe if you're not subscribed. Turn your post notifications on so you guys know when I post. Without further ado, thanks for watching. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.